gentleman and lady step into my office. It's time to get down to business. No need to be shy. Come on in closer. Too close. So I've gathered you here today to settle a dispute that nobody is having. However, I think it's worth our time to determine where each type of deodorant resides upon a ranking tier list of sorts. Because believe it or not, not all are created equal. However, that is not to detract that probably even the lowest ranking deodorant stick is still worth your time to apply to your body so you do not stink like an absolute landfill. I appreciate it, the people around you appreciate it, and you should appreciate it as well. You probably will, because even if you don't notice, there probably is a smell, and if people are avoiding you, it's not because of your social, well it might be because of your social skills, but it's more likely because of the body odor. And with the world opening up, slowly but surely, conventions, public gatherings, and everything should be going back to normal slightly, depending, we'll see. And you can't just hide in your mother's basement these days, while in Florida we don't really have basements, but you get the point. So you can't just hide in your residence, and I mean you could, but I'm just contradicting myself in media. Regardless, <laughs> if you go out in public, put a stick of deodorant on, take a fucking shower, <laughs> Treat yourself, and it will treat the others around you. We thank you for it. Now let's get to business. So my method for going through and testing each type of stick and brand was giving it typically a week, because going into it, I knew all in one day just wasn't gonna work because you just keep applying them and then having to wash that off. And then half the point of a deodorant stick is like the antiperspirant, no sweat part of it. So you need to wear it all day, if not two days, just to test to see how it works. So I gave it a week to give it a fair trial before I moved on to the next one, just to give each one a fair test to see how they hold up and just how they feel to wear. <clears throat> My God, I've been doing this for months. <laughs> So first but not least, we have Dove Men's Care. And most of these you'll notice on the front of a lot of deodorants will say 48 hours protective, blah, blah, blah. And for the most part, that's pretty true. I would still recommend if you're doing a lot of outside labor or s still sweating a lot to reapply at least daily, if not twice a day, but to say 48 hours is a pretty good statement because it does hold up if you're not doing a whole lot. Sitting in your bedroom watching too much anime, boys. <laughs> but that's not a false statement. I did learn that 48 hours does hold up pretty well. And for Dove's Men Care, it's basically like the soap smell. And texture wise, it doesn't clump up or anything. It's pretty smooth. So overall, I would say Dove Men's Care is an A like pretty comfortably. So up next we have Speed Stick. And unlike a lot of the other ones, this one actually says it's a 24 hour protection, which I'm wondering if it has any correlation because unlike a lot of ones that are a smooth bar, this one typically has a more wet feeling. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of that. And it's not too bad, it's more for an invisible type look to it. So when you apply it, there's not really any residue or anything like left looking over like a normal white one might leave that gives you the typical white stains so that is a plus on that side but for the actual feeling like you put it on and it feels wet and then if you once you close your arms it's just it's kind of uncomfortable it's not bad and it does dry so it goes away but i just prefer just using a normal any other type of dry stick and so this one's pretty much just gonna be on a C tier, I would probably say. I won't go searching it out, but I will still use it if it's available. Moving on, we get Arm & Hammer Ultra Max. And I'm gonna be honest, when I picked this one out of the store, I didn't even know Arm & Hammer had a deodorant line. And I don't know, I associated it with like cleaning supply. I'm like, I don't wanna apply this to my body. <laughs> I don't know why, that might just be me personally, but I will say I was pleasantly surprised with this one. It is a typically dry stick that smooths out though, so it's not super rough or anything. 
and the smell is kind of just generic there's nothing really notable about it it doesn't smell like heavy cleaning supplies but it doesn't smell like a field of roses either it's just kind of forgettable i guess and that's kind of rough to say because i think it just does its job it masks the, any bad scent and it just covers you up so yeah i would probably give arm and hammer i'd probably give it a safe b it's just kind of in that safe middle ground where it's not offensive it does its job and it stays quiet it does its thing and i appreciate that Ooh, baby degree i know what i'm putting this one immediately i've used this one for the longest time it's been my go-to i'm absolutely biased on this one s tier but let me explain why it's a dry stick it doesn't clump it's super smooth it doesn't that dude i've had no issues with this deodorant it smells actively smells good like if you want a deodorant that's just like oh okay it's not like cologne or anything it's still like a clean just basic smell but god dang this one's the sport and oh i would die for this <laughs> absolutely the, the personal favorite one 48 hour antiperspirant that absolutely works i have worn that for days and barely needed to reapply it so, oh my god what there's another kind that's oh, cool rush just sport cool rush manly things dude i'm convinced this deodorant will put hair on your chest it'll deliver your firstborn and make a man out of you <laughs> you just can't do no wrong <laughs> other than have poor grammar when you wear a degree. <laughs> Hell yeah, easiest S tier I've ever given in my life. Up next, we have Mitchum. Triple order defense, powerful anti-sweat, solid. Solid is right because not for it being good. I mean, this is like the most clumpy one I think I've ever used. It's a dry stick. That just it's like i've used this and it's still kind of rough that being said it's not terrible but i will say this is one of my least favorite ones that i did try during all this because it just like it dragged so much applying it and then it definitely had the most like leftover like going onwards into my day so it just i was not a fan of that at all the smell however is pretty pleasant but otherwise, like, the actual feel of it was definitely one of my least favorite ones. So unfortunately, I do have to subject this one to the D tier. It's still worth getting if it is an option for you. And hell, some people might still enjoy it. But for me, god damn it, I did not enjoy the feeling of it. So yeah, D. <laughs> Next, Right Guard. Classic. This, inoffensive. Not memorable either. It's just kind of like, it's kind of rough, I will say, another dry stick, but it definitely isn't smooth to drag over, and that kind of leads into it clumping a little bit, but not too bad, not like as much as Mitchum, but yeah, smell is generic, there's nothing really notable about it, it's just a solid stick. So, C tier. From here, we get to Old Spice Classic. And I'm gonna be honest, this is probably like the best advertised deodorant I have ever seen. Whoever the marketing department is for Old Spice is just geniuses because it just makes you want to buy it because they're so well made and so entertaining. That being said, the actual product, <laughs> it's okay. It's more on the wet side of a type of stick, so it's not just the dry rub. So already kind of loses points with me for that one but it's not terrible it's not like speed stick kind of wet it's still a little redeemable however the smell very alcohol like like i feel like i'm straight up taking alcohol swabs and putting them up to my nose or if someone's like dude take a shot of this vodka so yeah i'm not a huge fan of that one because it triggers the <laughs> the dorm room college ptsd oh but yeah, it kind of stinks just because of how good the ads are, but I am going to give this one a C tier because just the smell is not for me. But feeling wise, it's pretty good. It's probably the best among like the wet stick, wet stick, like smooth, invisible, clear looking types. So 
it does have that going for it. Maybe if I find a better smell, I could put it at Pyre, but for right now, not a fan of just the classic. All right, Gillette Clear Gel. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Somebody explain to me what monstrosity this is. I do not like this one at all. This is completely different from the rest of it. This is the top of it. I don't even know if you can see it. It's solid. There's no deodorant or anything. You squeeze it and it like pushes out the gel. I already wasn't a fan of like the wet stick type feeling. This is literally like applying like water shaving cream, not cream, but like some shaving product to your pits. Nah. <laughs> The, the I felt like I went for a swim putting these under my armpits. I mean, I'm thought was, I thought it was supposed to be antiperspirant to stop me from feeling like I'm sweating, but it just keeps adding to it. That being said, the smell of this actually pretty good, pretty solid smell wise. But fuck me, the actual like texture and feel of this, I hate it. I am not a fan of this type. If I could get a dry stick that smells like this, then hell yeah. But pass hard on this. That being said, I'm still going to end up using the entire stick because it's still pretty good. But as far as like all types go, this is one of the worst ones feeling wise. I just do not like that wet feeling. When I get out of a shower and apply deodorant, I don't want to feel like I'm hopping back in the shower. So D tier, D tier, D tier. <laughs> Now I don't really know what the difference is between the Dove's Men Care and just Dove. <laughs> but I will say I'm not a fan of it being a smaller stick to begin with. However, the actual smell of it is fantastic. It's just a clean smell. There's something about Dove that they just nailed just like, oh, it's a bar of soap. Like you're just going to smell clean. Like if there was a smell for what clean smelled like, it would probably be Dove. So it's a little above the generic type stuff. It's only 24 hour uh, coverage on this one. Invisible solid, except it's not like a liquid one. It's still like the white dry, dry rub. So it's pretty good overall, but I think I still prefer the men's care. I don't really know what the difference is other than maybe the smell, the texture is a little different, but yeah, it's solid overall. I think it's a pretty safe, just like B tier. It's just good. And last but not least, Suave Men's Active Sport 48 Hour Antiperspirant. This one's fucking solid, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, this has become one of my favorite ones from using all this to the point where this one's actually almost empty because I just kept using it after the one week, <laughs> after trialing the rest of them. Degree, I'll come back to you, I promise we're still friends. But Suave, damn. It do be smelling pretty good too. It's solid overall. It's just a smooth dry stick. It doesn't clump. It's just, it just feels nice. It just lasts, it does its job, and it smells good. There's really no complaints I have from this other than just degree being my bias on the S tier and I can't really, I mean, it's getting there. I wanna give it it, but I think I'm gonna give it an A tier just because like, I think it is solid overall, but I still haven't mentally readied myself to compare it with Degree just yet. Maybe one day. We're getting there. A tier. For sure. At least. So that's all the brands I bought today, for this video at least. I'm sure I missed a bunch of them, if not at least a handful, but I feel like this is a pretty good pool. They were all different enough to kind of differentiate to some extent, and some do kind of blend together. but. At the end of the day, there are like memorabilities about each of them, which I found kind of fascinating because I thought going into this that they would all just be kind of the same. So that's not to detract any of the ones that got a low score on this one. I just personally do not prefer and someone hell, someone could easily probably prefer something different. This is a subjective list fuckers. <laughs> what do you expect? It's my tier list. If you have a disagreement with me, let me know in the comments. Let me know how strongly you disagree with my opinions on deodorant. <laughs> Let's have the most cultured discussion possible. Otherwise, that's all I really had to talk about for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave a like on it if you did. Share it around with anybody you think would be interested. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you are subscribed, then I already know you're using your deodorant properly. And if you're not, you need to start applying it because nobody, anybody that isn't subscribed to this channel doesn't use deodorant and they're a filthy animal, but you still have time. 
You can still click that button. It's right there. It's right there. Very simple. Otherwise, that's all I really have to talk about for today. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!